Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The pace at which Indian future fighter jets are getting developed is really good for our Indian Air Force. The projects be it Tejas MK2 or Ted BF or MK all are moving either on their timeline or ahead of the schedule. The government has realized and put its weight behind fast tracking all these projects and those who are watching defense space closely will be aware of this. Recently, we have updated regarding the development of Ted BF program. The fighter jet will take its first flight in 2026 with MCA and enter production by 2031. Now there are updates related to MCA production and engine development which we will be discussing in today's video. The Indian Air Force modernization roadmap involves the deployment of around 126 stealth fighters which is close to 6 squadrons consisting of 36 MK MK1 and 90 MK MK2. The development of MK will happen in two phases. The phase 1, two squadrons of MK MK1 will be produced powered by American GE414 engines. In phase 2, the four squadrons of MK MK2 will be produced, which will be advanced version of MK with sixth generation technologies and will be powered by indigenous engines likely to replace the imported G414 engines. Now, as we all know that MK's first prototype will take first flight by 2026. Now there are updates that MK will enter series production between year 2028 to 29. This is at least a year or two ahead of its scheduled. Earlier, it was expected to enter production between 2029 to 2030. Now, as we all know that ability to super cruise without using afterburner is an important feature of fifth generation fighter jet. As per the latest reports, the initial batch of MK will not have the ability to super cruise. The reason is the engine used in the fighter. The American G414 engine used will not be powerful enough to provide the ability to MK. However, MK MK2, which will be powered by indigenous engine, will be able to deliver the super cruise ability because it would be able to generate more power than G414 engines. But the question is, what is the progress on indigenous engine program? Recently, we have also heard about Indo-French joint venture. Now, as per the latest update, a group of DRDO laboratories led by gas turbine research establishment GTRE Bengaluru is working to develop an MK engine. GTRE had managed to generate a maximum thrust of 83 kN with Kaveri engine. Now, the target is 50% higher. This means the engine should be able to generate 124.5 kN which is much more than G414 engines which can generate the thrust of 110 kN. If we look at the recently achieved thrust by Kaveri which is 83 kN, it is still significant. This is really positive news for MK engines upgrade. The MK MK2 is expected to enter production by 2032. GTRE has nearly 10 more years to work on the scaled up engine of Kaveri and reach thrust of 124 kN. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.